I'm seeing double, four Hikokis. G'day Hammerheads, welcome back, and today we've got a very special episode. It is 18 volt Hikoki versus 36 volt Hikoki. So here I've got two Hikoki rotary hammers, the DH36DPE and the DH18DPC. Hikoki is of course the new name for Hitachi and it's also known as Metabo HPT in some parts of the world. Now these are identical looking tools and the reason is that Hikoki has a range of multivolt stuff that's basically meant to be the same tool but in like 18 volt and 36 versions. So they run off the same batteries, uh, the 36 volt ones are meant to have more power at the expense of runtime. Uh, and if you're wondering how the hell that works, well, if you think of a battery like a bucket of water, you pour in out the water faster or slower, depending on what tool is using it, but it's got the same amount of water inside. And these multivolt batteries claim to be two and a half amp hours at 36 volts or five amp hours at 18 volts. So it's basically the same as any five amp hour battery you would use an 18 volt tool with, except it also fits in 36 volt tools. And these drills are identical looking aside from this one says UVP up here, a bit more writing. 36 volt also has more battery terminals. And to help keep track of them, I wrote the voltage on the handle here. Now these tools do look identical. They do have uh, the same specs except a different capacity. So the 36 volt is rated to 28 millimeters. The 18 volt is rated to 26. And if we take a look at their website, they claim that the impact energy is actually 3.2 joules. So if that's true, that's pretty amazing because 3.2 joules has got to be the hardest hitting 28 millimeter I've ever seen, let alone 26. So I thought a great way to get a feel for how these tools go and also uh, how the old multivolt thing works is to do the old granite runtime test, which, which as before involves getting the old Detroit four cutter bit drilling 70 mil in, that's a 12 millimeter diameter bit, and basically just going until the battery runs out. So first up is a 36 volt, and yeah, I have sped this up because it takes forever. What the bloody hell happened? The 36 volt got more holes than the 18. Well, bugger me, I just don't know what to make of that. And looking at the rest of this graph, the little Makita is still the king of this test and the Hikokis are kind of in the middle and towards the lower end of the pack. The DeWalt DCH263 is also 28 millimeters. So that's gonna be the closest competition to the Hikoki, the bigger one. Uh, so they did, yeah, pretty similar. The DeWalt's a little bit better there. And the DeWalt DCH133 is the most similar to the 18 volt Hikoki, and that one did a fair bit better. So anyway, good job green team with the uh, 36 volt. Now we've got a few different battery capacities in this graph going on. So let's normalize by amp hour. And if we do that, we see that the 36 volt Hikoki is hands down the most efficient per amp hour, 12.6 holes. And the 18 volt Hikoki is the least efficient with 4.9 holes. So super interesting stuff there. Not really what I was expecting at all, but uh, not really sure how it's, how it's actually happening yet. So why don't we take a look at the drill speed between these two guys and uh, maybe that'll give us a better idea.
All right, so averaging up the first few of those runs in granite there while the battery is still fresh anyway, we ended up with 15.17 uh, seconds for the 36 volt and 15.67 seconds for the 18 volt. So yeah, pretty similar, but the 36 is just a little bit faster. And because they are so similar, I think we can say that, yeah, the impact force is the same between these two drills too. So the green team is drilling faster. Uh, maybe that just means they're burning through their batteries quicker too. So let's take a look at the run time. So this is a pretty rough run time, just adding up the number of holes by the average time. And we end up with green team down the bottom with the least run times. So the 36 volt had 7.96 minutes of run time and the 18 volt had 6.4. So that's actually the least motor running time of, uh, of any drill so far. And one last data point I like to get with these granite runtime tests is how hot the drills actually get. So right at the end of the test, just as the batteries run out after she's been working really hard, I like to get the little heat camera out and I take some images. And for the 36 volt drill, the highest temperature I saw was 55.1 degrees right up here. And same place for the 18 volt, but a little bit cooler, 53.7. And compared to the rest of the pack, that was by far the coolest, actually. So green team is really winning in a few of these categories here. 18 volt, the coolest one. Now that could have been partly because these drills just weren't running as long as some of the others, but it's also probably because this giant bloody fan they got in there. Check that out. Crazy, real good stuff. So does all this stuff make sense based on what Hikoki has said about the voltage, the multivolt batteries? Like, nah. In theory, the 36 volt should be more powerful, as in, you know, drill a bit faster, but it should run down the battery quicker. And that is kind of not what happened here. So one thing I know is I'm going to need to do a bit more testing and maybe crack these guys open to work out exactly what's going on. But what I reckon is going on is actually these drills here, these pistol grip ones, are actually starting as a 36 volt design. And for the 18 volt version, they're just sort of downgrading the motor. And the reason I think that is partly because of what we've seen here with this testing between these two drills, and also partly in the drop motor drill. So basically what I'm thinking in context of the other Hikoki hammers is that the drop motor version is a bit older and this one, this pistol grip version is newer and it's probably started out as a 36 volt tool that they have then made an 18 volt version of. So basically that's what I reckon is going on. This guy hits like a 36 volt drill but it runs on 18 volt and uh, it's you know smaller, lighter, newer than the old 18 volt style. There is a 36 volt version of this as well uh, maybe I'll grab one of them and try it out. Maybe, who knows? Let us know in the comments what you reckon. But I think that is basically what's going on. This is a downgraded 36 volt. So anyway, Hammerheads, that is it from me and the twins here. Uh, do be sure to smash that subscribe button and let me know what you reckon is going on with the multi-volt down below. Thanks for watching and I will scratch you later.